Alrighty, it's time for our Penn State Weekend Primer. We're going to cover recruiting, some Olympic sports, and more to get you ready for everything blue and white this weekend. January 13th through 15th, we'll start on the recruiting front. It's football recruiting season. It's time for uh, Penn State to close out its class of 2017, lay the groundwork for classes of 2018, 2019, and so on. But first, they got to get this 2017 class done. It has 18 commits at this point. The contact period means coaches can be on the road again. It also means that they can host prospects on campus at University. City Park, and they'll host at least one visitor this weekend as four-star Maryland athlete corner Tariq Castro Fields has confirmed to Penn Live that he plans to take a 48-hour official visit to campus. So what does that mean? That means Maryland and Alabama already had the chance to host him in 2015 in November and I believe early December respectively, but either way, this will be his last visit before he decides on January 23rd. Generally speaking, if you can get the last visit, you have a shot to lock up a prospect. 247 Sports Crystal Ball says Castro Fields is favoring Maryland, so Penn State has its work cut out for it, but it at least has a shot with a kid that's a really good playmaker and would boost a, a tremendous class already in the secondary one notch higher. The class of 2017 has 18 commits. We expect it can take maybe up 21, so there's not a whole lot of space left, but Castro Fields is a kid they would take if he wants to come. Again, he decides on January 23rd after this weekend's official visit. Moving on, basketball is back in action at home after their win over Michigan State at the Palestra. They take on Minnesota. A pretty interesting weekend for the Lions if they can win win this one, get a little momentum rolling as Big Ten play rolls along. It's an interesting team. They're young. They, they make some mistakes characteristic of young teams, but it's pretty clear that the talent Patrick Chambers has been able to recruit out of Philadelphia is every bit as good as it was advertised to be, so we'll see how things play out there. Finally, the top five ranked Penn State men's hockey team under the guide of Guy Godowski. They host Michigan State for a pair this weekend, Friday and Saturday. What a turnaround for that program. I guess I shouldn't say a turnaround, but really an explosion from a program that was you know, playing club hockey not too long ago. Now they're in the, the tremendous Pagula Ice Arena and for the first time ever they're ranked in the top five inching closer to a top one uh, number one ranking rather a top two at worst and certainly a spot in their first NCAA tournament should this play continue. So that's what's going on in Penn State. Stay tuned to PennLive.com backslash Penn State football for more and we'll check in with you next week.